How's it going, everybody? Rybred here today, and we are back with our Ottawa Senators right wing sniper Ryan Rybred in our Be a Pro. Um, and in today's video, we're going to be probably playing the Vegas Golden Knights, a team that I don't think we've seen yet. Uh, and if we have, it was a long time ago, and I don't remember playing them. So I'm, I'm, I kind of want to play the Vegas Golden Knights just because they're uh, uh, not that great of a team, and I think we can get a certain two points out of it. Uh, then we'll be going up against Buffalo and Florida, both Atlantic Division opponents here. Uh, Buffalo we're chasing, so that's going to be a big one. And the same thing with the Florida Panthers. So if we can pick up points where they don't pick up points in these games, that's going to be huge because, as you can see, guys, it's basically the end of the season. And if I'll go ahead and show you here, we are not in the playoffs uh, we are not safe. We are climbing, and it's it's going to be a little bit of an uphill battle here. Uh, we are last in the division right now, but only seven points behind the Sabres with two games in hand on them. As far as the Eastern Conference is concerned, who else do we have to contend with? Maybe the Detroit Red Wings. I mean, that's in our division. The Carolina Hurricanes. I, guess I saw we had some games coming up against them. Uh, but we are chasing Buffalo uh, first and foremost here in the Atlantic Division. Uh, and we're seven points behind them, but again, like I've said, we got two points in hand. Uh, so uh, there are two games in hand, so we could get potentially four points out of that and be only three points behind the Sabres for that final division, uh, the final wild card spot. But it's going to take a seriously good run from uh, us, and uh, hopefully uh, we have the we have the bodies to do it because a lot of the players did get hurt. I'll go ahead and show you guys the lines right now as well. I'm on often. I'm on the first forward line. Uh, but I'm on the second power play line, so I'm playing there with Hoffman and Turris on that top line. Uh, those are my stats, 31 goals, 36 assists, but a minus 16. Although I am, I do have 11.4 shooting percentage, so I will take that. Um, as far as scratched, yeah, we don't. it looks like everybody is back and healthy. Uh, so maybe that'll help us make a push here. But I mean, our defensive core is just, it just got depleted when we traded away uh, Dion Phaneuf. I, I, I'm not a big fan of that trade, especially since all we got was Madison Bowie here as well. But hopefully we can get two points out of the Vegas Golden Knights and the simulation will treat us right. Uh, so here goes nothing, guys. It's going to take a serious playoff push. So the simulation was mostly good to us. We have a one nothing lead, so I can't complain too much. But now it's all on my shoulders and the, obviously my teammates. Uh, but now I cannot blame the simulation for uh, whatever it does to us because now it's on me to go ahead and prevent the Vegas Golden Knights from tying this game. And there we go. There's a block pass. There's a breakout pass, and Hoffman's up. He's got the defender's turn. I'm streaking with him. He finds me, and oh, I tapped that one back door, but a good save, but I believe that's Marc-Andre Fleury. Let's go back to the point there to CeCe. He's going to go point to point to Carlson. Now he's fine. he slides it down to Hoffman, slides it back to Carlson, slides it to Meme. I get my stick lifted. Oh, my teammates are trying to find me. I love it. I love when my teammates try and use me on the ice, uh, and I don't even have to call for it. All right, let's get back, play smart defense. And, you know, uh, what I'm going to try and do is I'm not going to try and just go in and take as many shots. I'm going to try and set up a lot more uh, in the offensive zone because I want more offensive zone time and pressure. Good defense there by uh, tourists get there Hoffman Spiza finds Carlson there Carlson finds Neil in front and that's gonna be the tying goal in the first 50 seconds of this third period they pass it around our defense there and that was just too easy for the Vegas Golden Knights and they have tied up the game and like I said I'm gonna try and keep as much offensive zone time as possible uh, and work mostly on my defensive um, my defensive abilities here because uh, I, I, I know we can put pucks in the net I just don't know that we are capable of preventing a team from uh, scoring on us. And obviously, we weren't, we aren't able to do so he here early in this third period. All right. Uh, let's do a little sidestep. There we go. Let's drop it back to the point to Shabbat. He's going to find Weidman, who shoots that one. But a good save. Let's get that one out to Turris. Oh, God. I wanted to... I uh, did not want to... Uh, all right. Let me get that puck. Get that... Oh, shit. All right. Weidman, get that. Nice. Oh, let's get it out of the zone at least. There we go. Turris gets it up and out of the zone. He slides it over to Hoffman. Hoffman's going to take that shot. Not what I really wanted. And I just injured Eglin on a hit on the forecheck. And now I'm in a fight with Braden McNabb. And it's now telling me it had a punch. Oh, God. This is not my specialty. Oh, here we go. Oh, God. I'm getting... Oh, my God. He is wrecking me every single time he throws... Uh, one, yeah, his, I was, I landed, I feel like I landed more than him at the beginning, and then, uh, I just missed out on one dodge, and that's, that was game over, but, um, so yeah, I injured one of the defensemen, which is, I guess, uh, it'll take him out for the rest of the game, and now McNabb and I, so there's one defensive pairing down for the next five minutes at least, uh, and no goals were scored during that five minutes, and now that's actually kind of good for us, because, uh, now I'm able to get back on the ice in a tied game here. I'd like to at least get it to overtime. That's the goal. Clark MacArthur shoots that one blocker side. Bobby Ryan picks that one up behind the net. I'm going to get over here. Shabbat 
Uh, Shabbat, I'm, o I'm over here. Okay, Weidman, he's going to get Sh get it to Shabbat again. There we go, to me. Uh, let's just go back to the point. Nice. Shabbat to Bobby Ryan. Let's get that one to Shabbat. Oh, my God, I got three guys chasing me, and Bobby Ryan snipes that one home. A good find from Shabbat, but I had three Vegas Golden Knights chasing me to the blue line. I slid it over to Shabbat at the point because I was like, well, I have nowhere to go. And he finds, but look at this, three of them chasing me to the blue line. Shabbat steps up, and they just back off, and the big hit comes in on Bobby Ryan by number 56. I think that might be Perron. Uh, oh, no, that was 55, was it? Yeah, I think it was 55. I don't know who that is on the Vegas Golden Knights, but, man, that was just bad defense by Vegas, and that's an assist for me, and we're played, you know, I didn't take the shot, and I, we played smart, uh, smart in the zone. We didn't just go in and fire it. We actually set up, cycled it a little bit, and we got Vegas out of position, which is what we, we need to do from here on out. And I know you guys are like, well, no shit, Sherlock. You know, offensive zone time means the opponent can't score on you. Well, you know, cycling and, you know, just uh, we can score goals. That's never been a, what I've been worried about. What I've been worried about is can we prevent the other team from getting good quality chances? Hoffman, ah, that's the kind of shot I don't like us taking is the one where we got somebody right on us. Now I got to get back. I'm back checking March or so. And Frederick Anderson, got to cover that puck up, man. All right, nice. He is going to freeze it there. And now we have just under eight minutes to go here in this third period, leading with two points already. So uh, we cannot drop these two points. I will accept at least one. We need to get a point. In a, we need a point streak going. Uh, so, jeez, uh, okay. We need to, oh my god, I need to at least focus on us getting to overtime in these games. But Neil, see, look at that. I step up on him because I'm dropping back. Oh, ah, and I prevent him from getting that puck, but it slides right to Neil. I've got the slot on lock. Oh, my God, and Anderson with a good save, and Turris is going to cover that one up, and, or Turris is going to kick that back into Anderson, and Anderson is going to cover the puck up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm super congested right now. I can barely hear anything. That's how, that's, ugh, it's just rough, but it's a playoff push. I'm too excited for it. I cannot wait any longer to make this video. So Hoffman now, nice, finds me. Uh, let's just go back to the point. See, I'm going to use my point men a lot. We'll go down low. Ah, shit. They got, they got it blocked. I wanted to go along the boards to Hoffman. I should have probably sauced that one along the boards. Got a back check, though. Look at this. Getting in front of the defender. Yes, and there we go. We force an offside. The back check. There we go. Hustle back. Do your job. Don't be too fancy. And focus on defense. Good defense will transition into better offense. And a long simulation here, and it's a goal for the Vegas Golden Knights with two and a half minutes. So I wasn't on the ice for that goal against, but it is still a goal against. Uh, and one that I was not hoping to accept. They, oh, yes, I knocked him off his shot. No, Shabbat! Oh, my God, Shabbat. And he passes it right to Neil in the slot. Not the guy you want to turn the puck over to in the slot. And not the guy you want to let come through the slot. Me. Oh, man. Shoot that. Oh, my God. And, oh, I got knocked down. I was like, I, did I draw a penalty? No, it was just a screenshot. There we go. Ah, get that. Ugh, shit, I couldn't get that past Carlson. Carlson's now going to find Perron. Perron sauces it over my stick. Spiza. Ooh, and a good play there by, uh, uh, by, uh, I think that was Shabbat. Yeah. I'm going to, okay, nice. Step up, Turris. Uh, Spiza finds Garrison. Garrison over to Carlson. Carl, uh, Garrison back at the point. Finds Perron in the slot. Spiza back to Perron. Uh, they're on their, they're not on their shooting hands. Carlson over to Spiza, over to Neil. I don't like this at all. I don't like being hemmed in in our own zone. I'm trying to play a little bit more conservative and not pressuring the point as much. And Carlson gets that shot off, bothered by Weidman, and he gets the puck back. Takes another. Oh my God, Jesus, are you kidding me? All right, I gotta get there. Ah shit, I haven't been able to get off the ice though. It's over a minute now on the ice. Garrison with the shot and a good blocker save. Turris gets it to MacArthur. MacArthur. Banks it off the boards to me. We're going to do a little toe drag. Um, why not? And, oh, we shoot that short side just under the glove of Mark andre Fleury. And with 109 left at the end of our shift, when I was trying to just put it in the glove so I could get off the ice, that's our 32nd of the season and the third of the game for your Ottawa Senators. Look at this. Little toe drag that I didn't mean to shoot. Gets it around him. And, oh, man, Fleury was just not expecting me to go short side whatsoever there. Look at this. Come in. Boom. Find the little bit of space that's there. There's not a lot, and that could be the game-winning goal, guys. Up by one, and that's going to be how it finishes. That goal was crucial, secures us the two points and a regulation victory. There we go, guys. Hopefully the simulation is good to us in the games I simulate before. I believe it's the Buffalo game, and that's a divisional opponent we're chasing. We need to get two solid points in that one as well. 
but I think with the blueprint that we showed this game being, you know, not having to pour in like six goals, actually playing smart defense, I think we can do it, guys. Leave a like on this video if you think I can do it too. So guys, during the simulation, we had a 5-1 win over the Coyotes with Johnny Oduya being fully cleared to play and a 2-1 victory over the Dallas Stars. And now we are up 1-0 over Buffalo, which is huge here as we start this third period. And Buffalo's coming out hitting. All right, Buffalo, if that's how you want to play, I'm, I'm down for it. There we go, Hoffman. Checks uh, Bogosian off the puck. Uh, doesn't quite get around him, but takes the shot on Robin Leonard. And uh, Bogosian's able to recover that puck. Up to Sam Reinhardt. I'll lay a little body check on Sam Reinhardt. Now it's a two-on-two. -two. I trust our defenders. CC steps up. Kind of gets dangled by Kyle Oposo just a little bit. I'm not going to get in that corner and help him out. I'm just going to stand here in the slot. Oh, got to go get that puck. Bogosian. Ah, no, I knocked the puck off his stick, but I can't get it back. Bogosian's going to put that one down low. Eichel with the puck. Eichel over to Bogosian. And yes, the saucer pass goes a little bit awry. And that one's going to be an offensive zone. Uh, now we're in the offensive zone, I should say. Uh, Ristolainen with the puck, and he gets that one up to Zemgus Gergensens, and they're going to get out of the zone, but I need to get off the ice. Uh, but, yeah, better, fifth, uh, better first 50 seconds uh, than the game against Vegas when we were up one to nothing. So Buffalo is leading in shots, though. I do not want to trap it up, but I also want to, like I've been saying, focus on our defense. There we go. Gets it to me. Oh, my God. Gets that to Hoffman. He's in. Oh, and he shoots it right for the five-hole. Ah, I gotta get that down low. Gotta just get that low. Nice. Eichel's gonna pick up that puck though. He beats uh he beats a uh, tourist to it. Eichel now to Oposo. Oposo with the puck. Uh, I'm gonna try and prevent. Oh my God! He finds Eichel in the slot, and Eichel cannot bury that. Now it's Hoffman coming up the ice. Hoffman, little toe drag. What's he gonna do with it? Nothing. He's not gonna do anything with it. But I get that one off of Oposo's stick. It gets to Shabbat. Shabbat needs some help. Gets it to Weidman. Hoffman up the ice. Hoffman into the offensive zone, and there we go. This is what we need, guys. We need this offensive zone. Pressure and nice shot by Hoffman. Goes just off the pads, and I guess Tourist, Tourist just couldn't get there. I'm not going to blame him or anything. All right, got to watch this pass here, though. Nice. Broussard picks that puck up. Broussard, get that puck out. Nice. Can I beat Scandella? I can't beat Scandella. I'm at the end of my shift, and I just got to get off the ice now. Eichel at the end of his shift, too, because he's on the first line. Just kind of dumps that one in, and he's going to get off the ice, which allows us to go ahead and get the puck and break it out, hopefully cleanly. Uh, and it didn't result in the goal anyway. And it's still 1-0 at 12.28 left in this third period. Jesus. Turris now with the puck. Can I uh, show for somebody? There we go, Carlson. I'm going to just get that puck deep, see if Turris can get there. Beaulieu. Yes, and uh, we force an offensive zone. Turnover finds me. I do not shoot that. I'm, <laughs> I, went, I wanted to shoot that puck right away, guys. That's not one where I was saying, like, we need to slow it down or anything. That was one I wanted to rip. Scandella finds a poso, and I think Anderson might have gotten there with a little poke check. Oh, no. And Cody Cece gets that puck up. There we go. And I get that puck out of the zone. Uh, I got nowhere to go with it. Uh, actually, I got Turris. He's going to take the shot in a good pad save by Robin Leonard coming across. It's good play by Cece just to get that one back deep. I'm going to go in, get deep. And Eichel's going to get that puck up to Oposo and out of the zone. And I'm going to go off the ice there. Sam Reinhardt coming across the blue line. Kyle Oposo into the zone. Probably going to drop it to Scandella. Yep. And they're going back and forth along the half boards there. Buffalo's still leading us by six in shots. A longer simulation here. Is it a tying goal? No. It extends the lead for Ottawa. And it's 2-0 in, oh, wow, in the third period. Just halfway through the third period. Uh, and it is a two-goal lead. I get that puck. And I shoot that off the pad. Did I slash McCabe? I better not have. Okay, good. I don't see a delayed penalty. Seth Griffith up to Jack Eichel. Over to Matt Tennyson. Tennyson finds Griffith, and he cannot bury that one past Craig Anderson. You know what? We're just going to slow this thing down a little bit. Oh, God. Griffith on the back check. Kyle Turris, and he cannot get that one past Robin Leonard. And see, that's almost what I don't want to do. It could, you know, I was really hoping it would result in the goal, but um, yeah, let's go get that puck around the boards. Get there. Get there, Carlson. Nice, Carlson, break it out of the zone. Fine. Yes, finds Turris, doesn't find me. I would have gotten decked by uh, Justin Bailey. Turris now finds me. Oh, I go with the backhander. I was not trying to go with the backhander there, guys. Get set to me. Go down to the corner. Oh, do ya? Fire that around. Nice. Oh, get there. Battle down low. Hoffman, nice. And we get that puck. I'm going to go back around the boards to Hoffman. Hoffman now with the puck. He's going to go to the point. 
Point to point, but picked off by Evander Kane. And Buffalo's out on... Oh, and good. All right. Hit me, Carlson. Nice. Oh, I'm around. Tennyson. Zemgus Gergensen's trying to chase me. Oh, and I can't get the shot off. Robin Leonard with the poke check. And I'm just... I got to get that puck deep. I did try and pass it deep, but I was hit just as I went to dump the puck. And oh my god, my failed breakaway and dump deep. Almost turns into a goal for Zemgus Gergensen's, but a good block shot there from... I don't know who the defender was, but... Now, just under four minutes left in this third period. Still up by two. A solid 2-0 victory is all I'm going to want from this game. There we go. Hoffman now with the puck. Hoffman carries it into the zone. He's going to find me. Can I go back door to... Oh, Turris gets that puck. Uh, gets that shot away. You know, I'm just going to carry this one. Go down deep to Hoffman. Hoffman goes along the boards to me. Can I circle out? I can. Can we shoot that back door? No, we can't. We, well, we do shoot it back door. We just can't get it to go. Oh, God, I didn't want to take the slap shot, and I wound up for it anyway. Matt Molson now with the puck. I'm not too worried about him, though. He's got no offensive talent. He's got no talent left in those bones of his. Uh, he's a little bit old, and he's getting paid $5 million, but that's just me bitching about the Sabres contract situation and has nothing to do with be a pro. Anyway, oh, and I get that poke check off. Bull you, and I, oh, I keep it away from Bull you just long enough so that I can get to the bench with relative ease there. Three minutes left in this third period, still up by two. Pouliot. Passes back to the point there. 3.01 remaining when I start the simulation. And no time left on the clock anymore. And that's a 2-0 shutout victory, extending our winning streak to 4. Can we keep it rolling in the simulation games before the Florida Panthers? And hopefully the simulation is kind to us when we start the game against the Florida Panthers. So a simulated... I think it was a 2-1 win, or, a, or no, it was a 3-1 win over the Calgary Flames. Extended our streak to 5 in a row. And now we got a chance at making it six in a row if we can win this game against the Florida Panthers. Oh, and I cause havoc with that puck coming off the end boards and going right into the blue paint. But that's not good now. Uh, they're on a break. They got a rush coming up the ice. There, there's my man, Mark Pissick. And all right, Hoffman now with the puck, breaking it out. He's going to pass it up to me. Nice. Uh, I'm going to just try and sit here and dangle with it a little bit. Can we get that one to Turris? Turris, oh, gets that backhander on. Hoffman now with the puck. Uh, what's he going to do with it? I'm going to go along the half boards for him, but Barkov's shadowing me the whole way, and Turris keeps that puck in the zone. Never mind, actually, it's offsides. And I had really high hopes for this game, guys. It was 3-0 at the end of one. Uh, and then Florida scores two unanswered in the second to cut the lead to one. I was really foreseeing like a 5-1 like a uh, third period start, uh, but it's only a 3-2 lead. Again, it's much like our other games where they were uh, one goal games, except those were one nothing. Turris now with the puck. What's he going to do with it? Oh, he gets it back. Hoffman. Oh, my God. And, he, and is that Luongo? Bobby Lou comes across and makes a glorious save to keep Florida one goal down here earlier on in the period. Redeem Verbata coming in. Takes the shot in a flashy glove save from Craig Anderson. Keeps this game in the hands of the Ottawa Senators with that one goal lead. And Florida's winning the faceoff battle, so that means puck possession for them. I don't know how many shots they have. I haven't checked. I haven't looked or haven't thought to check anyway. But oh my god, and the slap shot goes just wide. Bukestad, down low. He's a big body behind the net. That's not good. Bukestad, got to knock that puck off of him. Shabbat, nice. Get that up to Hoffman. Me and Hoffman are behind, not really behind. Oh, Hoffman does a windmill. I'm going to pick up for him, though. I kind of foresaw something stupid happening. Let's go to the point. Nice. Shabbat to Weidman. Nice, Weidman with the puck, Shabbat, all the way over to me, oh god, just dumped that one in the corner, okay, I went to dump it in the corner, and it just goes off of some players, uh, and it's out, and there we go, we got the plus for the back check before going off the ice, preventing that left winger from getting the puck, and Trocek takes the shot, and I believe it was shot, uh, it was blocked, alright, 1321 guys we can do it we can extend the streak to six game winning streak here it is possible i don't want to say it too much because i don't want to jinx it uh but that goes all the way around get there get there all right i i, I gotta get there then we'll feed that one up to tourist because he's got speed he's gonna find hoffman back to tourist uh tourist now gets down low oh and it was a good try by him i'm gonna get there in battle with barkov get out of here barkov that's my puck there we go i get that puck Find Turris, he takes the weak backhander, and it's too ugh, in Luongo's glove, but Luongo's able to play that puck. I got it back. I don't want to take a penalty. Uh, can I check him here? No, I can't. I'm not. I'm, Jesus. That's uh, it's Barkov. He's a pretty big body there. I'm not going to easily knock him off the puck, but I did block the pass there. We're in on goal. 
Just take the shot, and it's a badly aimed shot, but hey, it forces an offensive zone faceoff. I don't think I had enough space or time to go ahead and pull off any kind of deke or any flashy deke for that matter. A backhand, forehand, I don't think I had time for that either. I didn't want to lose the puck. I just wanted to put it on, see what happens. So Washington beat Winnipeg. These are, I'm checking out the scores at the top. Uh, Vegas beat Philly, which is good, I guess, because that would help our wild card, uh, wild card race if Philly's in the wild card. Matheson to Kondra. I almost knocked that puck off, though. Gets it to McKenzie to Petrovic. Petrovic is going to get knocked off the puck. I went. I crashed over there to go pick up the puck. Hoffman now covers my zone for me. Good, now he gets back. Ah, Matheson takes the shot, and it gets deflected, but goes off the toe of Anderson, and he covers up with just under 10 minutes to go here in this third period. And don't worry, guys, I will show you the standings regardless of what happens in this game. Our five-game winning streak with the potential to make it six uh, could put us in pretty good position with only a few games remaining in the season. You know what? I'm just going to get into the zone, and you know what? Nope, not going to shoot it. Oh, yes, get that to CeCe. Oh, he puts that one down low, but it just misses Hoffman's stick. And there we go. Is that Brendan Gauntz, I wonder? Yeah, it probably is. Might have traded for him at the trade deadline. Demers over to Gauntz. Going to body check Gauntz a little bit. Not going to do anything to him. McKenzie gets that puck through the tips and the screens, and Anderson's able to make the glove save and cover it up, which is huge, because the more fresh we can keep our skaters, the better chance we have of being able to keep Florida from actually having a good offensive opportunity. Verbata coming in. He's going to dump that one around. It's going to go down low to Eric Carlson. Eric Carlson cannot get the puck out. Turris to Carlson to me. And look, there we go, boys. The puck is out of the zone. I'm going to do a little sidestep here. Lose the puck. Not the time to do the sidestep. Ah, I got to work on my deking. That's something I do have to work on and shouldn't be working on it right now, especially while um, we're trying to win, get, extend this winning streak here. All right, I'm at the base of my uh, pyramid Barkov gets the puck through Anderson and it just goes slightly wide and I get that blocked pass oh my god get that puck somebody get there all right I'll, I'll have to get there Demers knock him off the puck Huberto now carries it into the zone he dumps it deep that's what they need to do we need to get there Terse though gets that puck Terse is gonna skate it Terse is gonna get it into the zone find me but I can't really do anything with it it was pretty tight area there Condra now with the puck and I gotta get, ah, shit, and he's blocking me from getting off the ice. That could be potentially bad. I'm not on the ice. Here comes my replacement, Pajot. And I think he's set up, and I think we're okay. But man, he blocked me from getting out of the zone. Now, three and a half minutes left. Still with this one goal lead. This is intense. Hoffman takes the slap shot. Ekblad has the puck, though, somehow, maybe off of Luongo. All right, I got the skill stick going. Dadanov to Ekblad. Oh my god, Ekblad, I blocked that pass, get the poke check in, Hoffman, no, Hoffman can't get the puck out, I got, I got Keith Yandel, guys, don't worry, Ekblad, over to Yandel, I poke it off of Yandel, but nowhere further than his own skates, alright, Ekblad gets knocked off the puck, and it's gonna go out of the zone, that is huge, and I'm just gonna sit here, Bukestad, over to Dadanov, Dadanov's gonna dump that puck deep, I'm gonna cover the point though, that's my spot, alright, Hoffman gets that to Turris, Turris, Get that to me. Ah, that was a bad call for the pass. I should have just had him dump it in. Instead, now the Florida Panthers are in, and it's a shot. Just slightly fanned on there by, I think, Bukestad maybe. Oh, and a great check. Never mind. Not a great check. What is it? I don't even know what that is. They didn't show me what the, what the referee was signaling, but we're going on the penalty kill for the next two minutes. Was this cross-checking? Hey, yep, looks like cross-checking to me. What, what are they going to call it? Cross-checking. Yep. And now we are on the penalty kill with two and a half minutes to go in the third period. Coach is putting me back out there just a few seconds later. This is not good. We need to just play. Oh, my God. And Hoffman gets bumped on his way to the bench. A little interference maybe, sir. No? All right. Bukestad to Demers. Demers gets that to Matheson. Matheson circles to the slot. Verbata. All right. Matheson going to go off the boards to Verbata. Verbata getting that one. Oh, and there is the tying goal. On the power play, I gotta blame Clark MacArthur on that one. I mean, that was just a good power play setup. Cycle Bukestad scores the goal, and hey, we got a point out of it, so we at least have a six-game point streak. Can we turn it into a six-game winning streak here in overtime? We haven't gone to an overtime game, I think, in a little while, so now we can actually have a chance to. We need I, for tiebreaker purposes. I'd like to win this one in overtime. There we go. We get the face-off win. Hoffman now with the puck. Hoffman, what's he going to do with it? Oh, God, we got nobody back at the point. Ah, 
and he's going to try and hit me there, and it's just going to go a little bit wide. Uh, our, oh, and I, t I draw a penalty, and we're going on a four-on-three here in overtime here, boys. And now I'm not on the ice because I'm on probably power play two. All right, 4.01 left. I don't know how much time is left on the power play. A minute, just over a minute left on this power play here. Uh, there we go. Uh, Broussard with the puck. He's going to go a little between the legs. Can I find Shabbat? Shabbat rips that one and just goes off the pad of Roberto Luongo. And they're going to dump that one. Ooh, that was close to being out of the uh, out of the rink here. Got to keep that one inside the boards there, bud. Weidman, nice. All right, can I uh, skate this one in? Okay. Uh, let's see. What are we going to do with it? Let's set up a little bit. Set up. There we go. Weidman. Oh, shit. He can't get the puck. He's going to take the shot, though. And, oh, Broussard cannot find the rebound. We still got pl plenty of energy left, coach. Leave us. Thank you. He's going to leave us out there. And, oh, uh, guys, I am on my one-time hand. This could potentially be good. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. And they're going to force the tie up and dump that one out. Ooh, I think. Did that go up just the top of the boards? Interesting. Get that puck, Carlson. Come on. He's going to find me up and out of the zone. I'm going to hit CC. There we go. Now it's a three on two. Broussard finding CC. Back to Broussard. I got that screen going, though. Oh, and it goes right off my shin. I got the goalie screen still going, though. I'm in front of the net. Get that one to Carlson. He takes the shot. Pissick. And I, I, I blocked the dump attempt. McKenzie now gets the puck. He can't dump it out. He gets it to CC. Gets it to me. I shoot. And, I, and the lateral movement by Roberto Luongo this game has been fantastic. Pissick getting that puck to McKenzie. They're now even strength yet again. And now it's time to hustle back. Huberdeau coming out of the box. Huberdeau with the puck. He's going he's gonna to keep it. He's going to hang on to it. He's going to drop it back to Demers. Demers to McKenzie. McKenzie gets the puck back. I tie him up with my skate a little bit there. Not sure how or why, but Demers with the puck. Gets that to Yandel. Broussard and I up and out of the zone. Broussard finds me. Nice. Can we, uh, can we? No, we can't. Let's get that one to CeCe. Can't even get it to CeCe. All right. Carlson with the puck. Carlson's going to find Broussard. Broussard finds me. Perfect. Get that back to Broussard. Broussard has the opportunity and gets under the arm of Luongo, but he's able to redirect that one out of the crease. There we go. I get that puck back. Ah, and I, where's my defenders? Oh, and I got to get out. I got to get off the ice. Oh my God, guys, come on. Barkov takes the shot. A good blocker save, or a, a, a pad save, but it's still in play. Oh my God, come on. Get me back on the ice one more time, coach. Minute 12 left. I'm going back out on the ice. Thank you, coach. I appreciate the opportunity here. Face off. Defensive zone face-offs. We know I'm not a great defense, uh, a face-off guy, but I do end up winning that face-off. Carlson, to me, up to Hoffman. We're out of the zone. Hoffman does a toe drag literally right into him. So it's nice to see Hoffman won't change in overtime. Oh, my God. Bukestad dangles around Carlson. Oh, my God. And he dangled the shit out of our team. And that's going to stop the winning streak. But at least we got a point out of it, guys. Hopefully we're not going to miss the playoffs by one point because this is one we let slip away. Uh, but we'll go ahead and check out the playoff standings right now. So that point streak and winning streak, guys, does seem to have come in handy because we went from last in the division to the one wild card spot. Now, I don't know about the Metro. They have the Columbus Blue Jackets. But again, we have two more games in hand on them, and they're only one point ahead of us. So that point streak was tremendously huge. And damn, the Florida Panthers, if we could have taken another point away from them, we would have 76. They'd have 78. We'd only be two points behind them uh, with even games. But we do have the tiebreaker with them. So all we need to do is tie the Florida Panthers by the end of the season, and we have a divisional spot, boys. This is not the time to get complacent, though. Keep playing like we've been playing, and I think we'll do well with it. I think we're going to go up against the Florida Panthers in the next video, too. I don't like to repeat teams, but it's a crucial one. I think we'll go Tampa, Florida, and then maybe uh, Edmonton or Carolina. You guys let me know. But there we go, guys. That is the end of this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you guys in the next one.